Well, a piano recital is a really big deal for young yeah. musicians, but one recital in Utica last December was truly extraordinary. I'm in a new Aren't that good? Kids all played Billy Joel songs, and the drummer for the recital toured and recorded with Billy for 30 years. Liberty DeVito still performs, and he works with young musicians across the country. Tonight, Carrie Lazarus sits down with DeVito for The Conversation. Liberty DeVito, they are still talking about last month in Utica when you came and played at a piano recital with young musicians. That was amazing yes. that you did that. It was a treat. Uh, you know, I love giving back. These kids have a dream. And if I could do anything to uh, help them get to that dream, then I'll do it. 30 years with Billy Joel playing every amazing venue around the world. And a lot of young performers look up to you um, and think, wow, I want to do what he's doing. It's not so easy, even if you're really good, even if you're great. Well, you know, I always tell uh, people that play when I do drum clinics, I say, you know, if you love what you're doing, you've got it made. I love what I'm doing. I love playing drums. You might love going down in your basement and playing with your friends, just playing any songs. If you're having fun doing that, then you are as successful as I am playing at Madison Square Garden. Don't measure success by the money you make. Measure it by how much fun you are having doing it. Because there were times that I would look at Billy Joel and I would think, I, I don't want to be here. I just am frustrated with this whole scene. Speaking of Billy Joel, yeah, three decades and then you split and it wasn't so great. And the two of you have kind of made amends. How did that happen? Well, uh, you know, I think the older you get, um, you know, there's, there's more road behind us than there is in front of us. And um, I, I couldn't carry that around with me anymore. We were such close friends. I mean, we had Thanksgivings together, Christmases together. I wanted that friend back again. And he was open to it also? Did he miss you yeah. too? Yes, he did. Because when I wrote him the email, I said I was kind of disappointed in the way it ended. And he wrote me right back immediately. He says, I was really disappointed too. Well, the two of you shared so many incredible memories. Um, is there one night particularly that, you're, that is just sort of seared in your mind that you'll never forget? Well, I mean, I, I don't know about talking about it now, but uh, the, the, the Soviet Union was a big deal to go to because at the time the wall was still up. They were, considered, they were still considered the enemy of the United States. To, to be on a flight going to Russia, knowing that your name is Liberty, yeah. Was, yeah. was like, I, I was frightened. Like, what are they going to do? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it was, it, was, it was so great. You know, it was the first time I, I, I actually stood on their soil and looked up at the sky and thought the same clouds that go over the United States. And, uh, and I thought, it's, it's governments that, that fight against governments. It's not the people. The people embraced us. They loved us. And Liberty DeVito says he was just blown away by one young musician he played with in Utica. You're going to meet that 10-year-old pianist next Wednesday, 7 p.m., when Carrie Lazarus presents Extraordinary People in Places of Central New York.